right in here we're doing the governor springs already got that loose which doesn't take a lot to loosen up so I'm going to just spin it by hand and that takes an 8 millimeter just slide it off just a little bit don't take it all the way off because there's a, a little keyway right there that it's very very easily lost just slide it out a little bit so we can get this plug out and then you'll have access to your springs then you crank the engine over until you see the nut on top of the spring and you can get a screwdriver or needle nose pliers that's one click that's two clicks there's three and there's four so we're only going four because you go too much more than that and then it loses its ability to idle or loses your ability to adjust the idle which since our engine is off of the engine or off of the truck it's easier to see there's your idle adjustment there's your maximum fuel you can adjust that that I didn't mention on the fuel rate on the other video <clears throat> you can adjust that for max throttle stop there's not much adjustment but then rotate the engine over you rotate the engine one revolution which equals to the pump going half a revolution and there's your other set of springs and go the same amount there's one there's our two There's three. Ooh, I lost it. And there's four. Normally it doesn't spin away like that, but I have the front of the engine kind of taken apart, so it's easier for me to do this. So that's pretty much it for your governor springs, and then just put the plug back in. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get started. Wiggle it just right. It goes on there pretty good. Tighten that up and then put your shut off lever back on. Tighten that back up. You're done.